Hey y'all, welcome back to, uh, let's start over. Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Captain Morgan Darts. Uh, played in the state tournament, uh, this past weekend, and, uh, didn't do so hot. Uh, didn't do horribly, but didn't do so hot. In the singles 01 event, um, I was out early. I think I won my first match, and then I lost the next two, uh, to boot me out. I just, I couldn't hit anything. Um, then played in doubles cricket. Um, a buddy and I played in that. And uh, we ended up taking minimum money. I think we went to 13th to 16th place, something like that, which just took home minimum money. Not enough to pay us for our entry fee, but hey, we got a little bit back anyway. Um, I threw okay uh, in that. Um, had a few games where I threw really well. Some other games where I was off, and unfortunately my partner was off at the same time. So uh, that's what put us out. Um, and then in the mixed doubles event, uh, played with my girlfriend uh, in that. That was 01. Uh, it was 01 freeze cricket. 01 freeze is how that one was set up. And uh, we also took down minimum money uh, in that. Um, the last game we just couldn't hit anything, and the other team was hitting everything. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about attitude. Um, I know I've said in a past video that I want to try and be a better ambassador for this sport. Uh, I want to hopefully bring young kids up um, into this sport, let them uh, see it, and let them you know see how to act and how to have fun and how to behave. Uh, and that said, uh, two of uh, the games that uh, my girlfriend and I played in, uh, in mixed doubles, the men in that were overgrown children. That's that's putting it nicely. Um, they just got extremely angry uh, at losing. Um, the one team, they were okay. They didn't talk a whole lot to begin with, you know, introduced ourselves, whatnot. They were, you know, just there, didn't really say much. Went up, uh, we beat them in 01 freeze. Um, it's open out. Uh, I took out a 92 uh, to win that. Uh, we got up at cricket. Um, they were not able to open the 20s up. Uh, my girlfriend went up there and uh, threw a trip 20, a trip 20, and a double 20, um, which is rare for her. Um, she Now, in tournament darts, she is she's on fire. It's great. Um, in league, not so much. And she knows this. She won't watch this video because she doesn't like that I'm doing these. Anyway... <laughs> Um, but she went up and did that, and that set the guy off just a little bit to start with. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know, he didn't say why, but he was already in a bad mood as soon as she did that. So we got up and we're throwing, and we've got, I think we had the 15 open, we had the 18 open, and, um, they had everything else closed. I don't know if they had yet opened the bowl, uh, or it, they may have opened the bowl or had, had one or two marks on the bowl, and we had none on the bowl. And went up, and I told her to get points. Uh, we were up by about 50 points or so, and I think we were on round 22, and it rounded out at 25. Well, points wins. So I told her to go up and throw up points. She hit, uh, I believe, I want to say she either six marked or seven marked the 15s. And this guy slammed his darts down on the table. Just bam, slams them down onto the table. And as soon as I heard that, I recognized that we were really getting into his head. And we might as well go ahead and throw points and get him off of his game. Now... I don't know yet if that was if this was before or after, but he had gone up. The timeline's a little iffy for me. He had gone up and uh, hit a hat trick um, at one point. Again, whether it was before or after, she she seven marked the six or seven marked the fifteens. I don't remember, but he got within I think seven or eight points, and he was stoked about that, obviously, but. Then the dart slamming down on the table after she did that, 
told me that we were getting in his head, and so I told her points for the rest of the game. Don't even throw at bulls. Don't even throw a single shot at bulls. Go points the rest of the game because that's going to get them off of their game, and they're not going to be able to, uh, to hit right. And that's exactly what happened. Um, she hit points. I went up and hit points. He walked up, threw his darts, he threw the first two, missed the bowl, and he took that third dart and just winged it like a baseball at the, uh, at the dartboard. It hit the dartboard sideways and flew off and landed somewhere. And uh, this was, I think, the start around 23. And, you know, great. Hey, he's, not, he's out of it now, right? Well, guess what? Because of that, now he's not able to throw his darts right. And he absolutely has no chance of winning now because he's so in his head and he's so angry that he can't even throw his darts, you know, correctly. He's just that, that angry. Guys, you saw in, in my match um, uh, against uh, Murphy in 01 how I came back because he couldn't do anything. Now, granted, yes, there are only a couple rounds left on cricket, but hey, if we had failed to hit our marks and they were able to hit their bowls, they could have beat us. Um, so just remember that. Keep in mind your attitude. Stay calm. Breathe. Focus. And throw your darts. Forget about what your opponent does. It does not matter. Right? It doesn't matter what your opponent does. You cannot control your opponent's darts. You have no control over where they go, whether they score, whether they close something out, or whatever the case is. You can't do anything about that. You can only control your darts. So focus, breathe, control your darts, and play your game as well as you can. You have to rely on your opponent to make mistakes. I mean, that, that's, what, that's what we're doing, right? We, we don't win if our opponent is better than us and hits things that we can't hit, right? We win if we're better than our opponent and can hit things that they can't. So, had he managed to remain calm and gone up there and thrown his darts, they possibly could have won that game. Um, now, whether or not we would have taken them in the 0-1 freeze or not, I don't know, but that's beside the point. Second guy wasn't near as dramatic, uh, but what got me was he was really cool at the, at the beginning. Came up, walked up, laughing, joking, shaking hands. You know, talking about having to press the button versus not having to press the button. And uh, he made a comment about, you know, don't put me out of this, because we were in the loser's bracket at that point, and that, that would have put them out. And, uh, you know, said, well, one of us has to go, right? So I don't want to go out either. But um, we played 0-1, and we beat them in 0-1 freeze. They slaughtered us in cricket. I mean, they were on fire in cricket. And he made a comment, I'm not losing this one. Okay, well... You know, good for you. I, you know, I get it. Good. I want some competition. Third game's 0-1 freeze. And we won the diddle. And he got mad. He's like, well, this ought to be choice. You guys should have to choose whether you throw first or whether you, uh, you know, whether uh, the game is cricket or 0-1. So, well, that's not the way it's laid out right here. And, I mean, you've made it to this round, so you know how this game has been played unless you haven't played you know, more than two games in any single round, but I doubt that. So one freeze. That's the game that is established by state. So he's angry from that point forward. And again, he wasn't hitting. And his partner wasn't hitting. And he threw the biggest fit. Neither one of those two guys would shake our hands. Neither one of them said anything about good game or anything like that. They just pouted and threw fits like, like little children. Uh, the first guy was the worst, by far the absolute worst. Um, the second guy was just pouting, too. He even threw his darts down on the floor. Um, so, you know, maintain a good attitude. I will do my best at doing that. If you guys ever see me getting angry or getting upset or talking bad about myself or anything like that when I'm up here throwing... Say something in the comments. Call me out on it, please. Hold me accountable for what I'm saying that I'm going to do. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say. And Forrest Gump, that's all I got to say about that. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't resist sometimes. Let's go ahead and talk about my stats. 
So, O1, 80% stats we're talking about first. O1, uh, 60.11, I'm a B. Uh, cricket, 2.53, I'm a double B. Um, in my last uh, games of, um, what was it, my last league games, I threw, I threw really, really well. Um, not the ones against uh, Murph, but the ones against uh, another guy uh, after that. 100% uh, stats, uh, 01, 17.96, and cricket, uh, 2.18. I'm a B in both of those levels. So one other thing I wanted to mention real quick is I have created a club, uh, Captain Morgan Darts, and um, I'm going to use that club for um, my subscribers, my YouTube subscribers and I, to play matches, uh, hopefully for YouTube, um, and also for you guys to play against each other as well. So um, <clears throat> make sure that you uh, like and subscribe, and if you do subscribe, add me on Facebook. It's the same name. It's Captain Morgan Darts. The only thing is there's a space between uh, the N and Morgan and Darts because of the way Facebook does it as the first and last name. Um, <clears throat> so add me on Facebook at Captain Morgan Darts. Shoot me an IM uh, saying, hey, man, I'm a subscriber. Um, if, you're, if your subscriber list or, or the, the subscriptions that you have is not public, then I cannot see if you're a subscriber. So just shoot me a screenshot of uh, you being a subscriber. Send that to me on Facebook, and um, I'll give you the password to this club. Eventually, I may go ahead and unpassword this, but I'm trying to do something to build up a uh, subscriber base at the moment. Um, do that. Uh, I will check this every time that I get online to play for video. Um, and uh, if there are people in there, then I'll go ahead and jump on. What I'll also do is I'll start putting on Facebook. I'll just put a status. Hey, YouTube, YouTube subscribers, I'm jumping on to play for video. Uh, go into my, my room, you know, or, or club or whatever the case is. And then hopefully I can get some games against some of you guys, uh, build up some content. Right now, um, I, am, I don't have any content backlogged. Um, I've got... I have to make this video right now. I think I've got one that's going to be uh, posted uh, tomorrow, but I don't have any other videos recorded because I've been so stinking busy. As you can see, I actually did something here on this wall. You guys are so tired of hearing me yapping. You just want to watch darts, don't you? Let's get to it. All right, now, I am not warmed up at all. I haven't warmed up. I've been working. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, nine doesn't do it. Oh, I got a 12. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, I guess I did do it. All right, see if I can do anything here that I'm not warmed up. Got uh, some new flights. Uh, I had the blue ones. Uh, the red ones came in from Japan, so I went ahead and did the old uh, red, white, and blue. I know it's corny, it's generic, it's been done. Um, I did find a new shirt, um, when I was at, uh, the state tournament, a guy was walking around, had a shirt that had the exact same eagle that I have on my logo, um, with a dartboard under it, so I ordered one of those, um, I'll tell you a story about that in a second. You guys may wonder why I have that eagle as my logo. Well, I actually have that eagle tattooed on my back. I've had that tattooed on my back for 
six year, I think, six, seven years, something like that, six maybe. Um, so that's why I chose that as my, my logo. Uh, I had seen it uh, one time and thought it was really cool. I went to my tattoo artist and said, hey, can you do this? And he did. Um, no, I'm not going to take my shirt off and show you my back. Sorry, it's not happening. Uh, nobody wants to see that anyway. But um, just figured I'd let you know that's the story behind that. And I'll have that new shirt. It'll probably be six to eight weeks, but eventually uh, you'll see that new shirt. Oh, that, that last one was awful. Oh, that left my hand weird. Ah, oh, that's the 18. Missed it. First ball I've missed so far. Oh, wow. That's the first round I missed a bull. And boy, did I throw awful on that one, didn't I? <laughs> All right, 95. <clears throat> wow, another miss. Bull on a D14. Oh, come on. All right, T20. Here we go. Let's see if I can hit this, being not warmed up. Whew. Oh, just low right. All right. So 59, 19, D20. Hey, now he's on fire. and a D20, or a bull on a single nine. Oh, no good. D20 and a single seven, it says. 47, I'm going to go 14 to a D16. Oh, did I hit the wrong? Did I do the math? Ah, oh, I did the math wrong. Wow. Wow, I did the math wrong. Ugh, it's awful. That was way low, too. See, you gotta think. I didn't think. I did the math wrong. Now I'm left with a nine. All right. <clears throat> I will take that win. He gets to go first. All right, let's see what we can do. D20, where are you? That ain't it. Wow. Wow, another double five. I don't know what happened with my throw there. I mean, those two darts went in the same spot, so whatever I did wrong, I did it exactly wrong the same.
All right, nice job, bud. So when we were in the state tournament, um, the people that put us into the loser's bracket, um, we had an X on the 20, and the other people had scored, I think, 20 points or 40 points. And I told her to go 19s, and she missed, and the next round he went up and hit a couple triple 20s. And so I debated whether or not that's the best solution. Now, now I don't have an X on the 20 here. So, you know, I only have one mark on the 20. So I'm not going to go up and try and close the 20 because I don't have enough there. I'm going to wait to dart at it. Um, he's throwing at it, obviously, to score points. But he missed, right? So now I have an opportunity. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw at it first, see where I'm at. If I miss, I'm going more points. Oh, I'm so close. All right, now I have to go points. And I missed that. So that's where... Should I have gone points first? Maybe I should have gone point, point, close, build up my point lead because of that, right? He made a mistake the first one, then I made a mistake that one, and he capitalized on my mistake. So, yeah, that's my fault. I should have built up a point lead. Come on. Oh, wow. Awful, awful, awful. And he got the 18s too. Oh! Well, helped out a little bit anyway. Uh, he's got the 20s and the 18s, so I really have to have a point lead uh, before I go uh, go after his 20s or 18s. Yeah, he should have been throwing all those at 20s and 18s in reality. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Boy, if that uh, second dart had gone there, it would have been in good shape. Now he's forced to go 20s or 18s. Hey, good, good darts, bud. Oh, that was awful. See, he knows I can't do it forever. Wow! <clears throat> so there, I made an error. So now my opponent has a chance to come back. Um... Now, I, I don't know that I'd be throwing a 17 if I was him. I'd be going for some more points because he is behind on the point lead. The reason I'm throwing at points is because he's got two wedges on me that I don't have any marks on. Wow, just one of them. Ouch. <clears throat> Wasted all of the good darts, apparently. Can't hit anything now, can I? Oh, we got it. We got it. All right, but I've got the point lead. So let's go ahead and do something here. All right, I got to go points. I don't have anything to point on. So probably wasted that first dart. 
I should have I should have gotten myself a wedge. I had I didn't have enough of a point when you could you do it to be doing that. Yep. Now he's gonna go sixteen. Oh, that was an awful, awful dart. Woo! I'd say the first one was as awful the opposite direction as the second one, or as the first and second ones were just as awful in the opposite direction as what I was trying to say. I couldn't talk. That's brutal. That's ugly, right? Yeah, gone. He's throwing right on his average. His average is a 2-4. He was right on it. My average is a 2-5, and I'm throwing a 2-1. Come on. Oh. Bringing down my average. What was that? Well, I was there, so I figured I'd stay on it, right? So that first one was supposed to be a 15. <laughs> but after I hit it, I was like, all right, let's go ahead and do something with the bulls. Wow. Amazing darts, dude. Absolutely amazing darts. All right, I, I kind of want to play cricket again because I threw so horribly. All right, Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, four is not going to. Oh, wow, a four one. I'm going to throw first because I don't mind if he chooses cricket. Wow, he chose 01. That's surprising. I figured he would have chosen cricket. Well, that's a bad start. That's a bad, even worse start. There we go. Save the day, right? Oh! Wow. All right, then. Guess he wanted to play cricket in 01. Awful last start. That last start left weird. Thankfully, it at least hit uh, 20 instead of a 1. Come on, get in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe I was talking too much in cricket. Come on, get in there. Guess you just have to talk to him. Pull a little uh, Happy Gilmore. Get in your home! There you go. Oh, nope, triple one. Sorry, bud. Yes, there you don't go. Oh, 
Oh, drop that last one. Occasionally my phone will do that. I don't know why it it plays it through the phone and then it changes its mind and plays it through the TV speaker. Which is a bit too loud right now. Ball Bowl D17. Way too high. Get in your home. Oh, wow. Awful. That one dropped like a rock. Not the good rock like in the Bob Dylan song, you know. All right, bull, bull, single 13. Come on. Right over. T17, T17. This one I know. Whether I can hit it or not, it's a different story. Oh, so close on that last dart. I almost have to put me at a 49, 48. All right, T16 then. We go four. Oh, a little low. I'm going to go for a nine and a D16. And I missed that. Now I got a T9. Oh, one hole. Right outside of it. Right outside of it. You got to throw some big darts here. That's not going to do it. Single 18 for the win. Come on. There it is. A little high, but that did it. So, all right. I don't know if he's going to want to play another game or not. Uh, we're going to find out and go from there. So, 58. Nice start, bud. Give you a thumbs up and heart you there. If you ever guys ever see me, make sure you uh, hit me with a heart and uh, we'll play. Uh, let's see what my stats are now. All right, we're going to take a look at my stats after that game, just because I like to put them at the beginning and the end of every single video. Um, so 80% stats. I didn't think I had changed it back to 80%, but maybe I did. Uh, 60.99 um, on 01 and 2.53 on cricket. Puts me uh, still a B and a double B at the 80%. And 100% stats, uh, 2.19, I believe I probably dropped on cricket there, and 17.99 uh, um, in 01. So those are my stats. I don't know whether they got better or got worse. Um, anyway, that's the uh, video for today, unless I happen to uh, catch one of y'all in the uh, club lobby. And if so, then I will record that game. Um, you know, I, I've, the past few sessions I've recorded two or three games um, in a day. I don't really like to do that. I want to get some games in between so we can see whether my stats are going up or down, you know, in between my games. Um, if you guys don't mind me recording games one after the other, um, let me know. You know, and if I do that, then I just won't show my stats really um, all the time. I'll show them at the beginning of one game and maybe, or maybe just the beginning of each game or something like that. Um, so anyway, I don't know what else to say on this. Um, I talked enough at the beginning. So with that said, I appreciate you all. Shoot well.